Hello, my family. Welcome to Sherix Broadcast Network. Of course, the place Wusai would bring Africa live to Wusai ever you day around the globe. Of course, today we're very much delighted for bring come to our very special program right from our studio now, so now studio number eight. And of course, I know say Wusai ever you day, you day enjoy with programs them. So we appreciate you for all of that. And we appreciate you for all the comments the way they send to we. Of course, then comments then they don't help we for improve on the services what would they provide. With me today in the studio, now the young generation leader of the SLPP North America region. Of course, you know, see SLPP North America region, now the financial backbone of SLPP as a political party. And of course, then they play a very strategic role for able for match back to State House now Sierra Leone. And of course, on the line also, we get some of the other strategic people, them, uh, young people them in SLPP, now North America, then they're on the line, on the phone, they all get for talk to we today. But uh, I go on for start with the uh, leader of the young generation in North America, we, now Mr. Mohamed Ba. Of course, for plenty of Unawo, we know Sabi, Mr. Mohamed Ba. Mr. Mohamed Ba, plenty of people that can talk to you, then surprise with the CMP politics, because now man is a movie actor. Now that one they will be known for. Now man, he don't act plenty of Sierra Leonean movies. He don't act movies with Nigerians. He don't go to the, you know, all the side of the side uh, Nigerian top top movie actors. Then they again in your non-profit foundation at Sierra Leone. So now big time guy with SLPP they don't capture. I don't know how they able for capture this guy for Canada fold. But this is the kind of man we they lead the SLPP young generation. Of course, the other man they back with the work with them. We get them on the line and they can introduce them on other tough, tough money. So it looks like say SLPP D for take over the mantle of leadership in Sierra Leone, but because of the caliber of people that we we get. So, uh, Mr. Ba, welcome to Sheriff's Broadcast Network. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Sheriff. I'm That's so good. honored for that <coughs> warm. How do I describe it? That warm um, introduction. Thank you very much. No problem. And. Um, I'm very humble mm -hmm. for dinner. Also, I get with me on the line um, mm -hmm. because we know we conference everybody in. Mm -hmm. We secretary of the young generation wing, mm -hmm. Mr. Hindolo Barnett mm -hmm. from New Jersey. Right. And of course, we get we acting finance secretary, Mr. Senesi Sama mm -hmm. from Northern California. Right. And we also get the Southern California Young Generation Leader, Mr. Yaya Tijan. We now we strategic advisor. The all day online with we at the studio right now, but of course meeting at the studio with you now. And um, like I say again, I'm very humble. We are very thankful for the we able to talk to with Salon people then today. Right, so this is very good. And so uh, let me start with uh, Hindolo Bannett, uh, one of the Secretary General of the SLPP uh, North America Young Generation. Mr. Bannett, how did you do that? You want to say hello to Fambu then? Yes, I'm with uh, Good evening to you, sir. Um, your name is Hindolo Bannett. Good uh, you know, we're glad for the other line. Right, and of course, uh, we get uh, Mr. Senesi Sama, one of the acting financial secretary of the young generation, SLPP North America. Mr. Sama, how do you do? You want to say hello to them? Oh, yes, I'll do fine. Thank you very much for the introduction. And, you know, uh, I just want to say um, hello to everybody who they listen to me. And we're very grateful and thankful for who we're getting on, on WSI right now. For whether they give we is, I mean there is to we for that we um able to sell party to them and we ideas them. That's good, that's good. Of course, uh, we get no less a person but Mr. Yaya Tijan, we are the young generation leader in Southern California and also strategic advisor to the young generation. Mr. Tijan, how you do, bruh? You get anything for your hey, you I, do, I do great. Uh -huh. I just want to say thanks and the family in Akushe, Cabo, you know, I do for all the hard work they do for this SAPP. We will continue, so in three months, we'll be leading the free town in Sierra Leone as a group. Amen. Right. I want to thank you to your own group and Mr. Bar for bringing me in. Right. Thank you very much, guys, for coming in. Of course, uh, as soon as I know, plenty of people that they look up to the Sierra Leone People's Party for form the next government in Sierra Leone. So, in fact, uh, other people and they will not understand too much about 
SLPP young generation because in the past people they don't, don't associate young people and too much with SLPP but when are they in the best position for talking about that and I don't make at the bring in Mr. Mohamed Ba for let it give me an idea about the structure of the SLPP young generation how SLPP young generation fit into SLPP as a structure because plenty of people that say young people they not get no role for playing inside SLPP tell me something about that um, thank you again very much for that question. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me start by saying this. Mm -hmm. You see, one of the best things about the SLPP, we make it completely distinguished mm -hmm. from other political parties. Then mm -hmm. we founding fathers they introduce the young generation wing, as compared to other political parties that we get youth wing. Mm -hmm. Now, why? then choose the young generation right then choose the young generation because number one now the place where the, the party will train young minds for take leadership after where people they are retired now if you brought that a little bit mm -hmm. now a training ground when you said youth then you don't begin associate age to youth. Mm -hmm. But when you say young generation, mm -hmm. we're talking about the young people to be part of it. In another words, when you look at the symbol of we party when at the pantry, mm -hmm. the young one in the ground at the middle of the tree will represent the old way they around where they protect them. So in that context, the young generation wing is the building block of the future leaders, not just for the Sierra Leone People's Party, but for Sierra Leone as a whole. Right. You know. And so, uh, so Mr. Ba, talk to me small about, you know, the young generation. I mean, the SLPP North America region, because now to this region, the SLPP young generation belong. So. Plenty of people like you say SLPP North America region are the fifth region of the SLPP. How did that come about? Well, if my history serves me right, mm -hmm. this was approved by the national body of the Sierra Leone People's Party back mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. to make this region as the fifth region mm -hmm. of the Sierra Leone People's Party. So we are part of the national body in Sierra Leone. Right. Now, as a young generation wing, mm -hmm. we are part of the national executive in North America. So we don't operate outside of that conf confines. Mm -hmm. So we are part of that wing. Mm -hmm. We take, of course, we take our instruction from the national chairman mm -hmm. and also our regional chairman. Mm -hmm. So we are all together as one. Okay. You know, so we get a lot of chapters across the region, mm -hmm. and um, and we're doing fine. Okay, so you know, make a bring uh, you man them inside. Of course, uh, make a start with uh, you, Secretary General, Mr. Hindolo Barnett. Uh, Mr. Barnett, uh, I know see in the past uh, summer, the SLPP Young Generation Wing been get uh, a uh, national youth conference in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, you go able for give you a background as to what that that whole uh, you know conference be there about. What is be the purpose of that conference? Yeah, um, thank you. Um, and the conference, uh, you know, the region as a whole, uh, North America, they allocate uh, one event for what we can do um, mm -hmm. a year. So we choose for the that conference. Now, Phoenix, Arizona, we um, basically uh, just so we get young people in, mm -hmm. you know, young mindset that are the party, we come, we discuss issues in. Mm -hmm. We they face the young generation we, and youth them in general as a, um, a salon. So we get different speakers in, we, um, you know, talk on topics that would really affect we as youth them. And, you know, we really want to get more involved. Instead of before, you know, we talk about politics. Mm -hmm. When they come, you get for children will come in, you know, give some money to youth them, we then go and campaign for them. Now, this is one for take 
you know, um, the leading role, because we know see, you know, whatever they happen at the country, now we get for effect more. So we really want to take that leading role day. Mm -hmm. And discuss policies that are not only discuss, come up with solutions on this, uh, whatever we don't discuss, and we make sure, see, the big one they know <laughs> that this will affect you, that this will for see change. So um, okay. those were the, um, the conference we'll do, and it was very successful. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Yes, uh, I happen for on day another conference as well. So I see uh, waiting go on. So, uh, make a talk to uh, Senesee. Uh, Senesee, I know see you na uh, the acting financial secretary of the SLPP Young Generation. In fact, you don't they participate plenty by Young Generation business. You know, what thing you go able for tell with family about waiting at the hope. We lie in the youths of the SLPP. Which can hope you go able if like youth standing away they can listen to you and you know they're not be not associate themselves with the SLPP, which can hope you go give hope message you go give them. Well, um thank you very much for the question, mm -hmm. Sherry. Mm -hmm. Um like one of my will say mm -hmm. that conference they will be um born and finished back mm -hmm. in July, I believe. Mm -hmm. That conference they like would be come up with ideas and for we when we uh, come up with ideas and ways and we will get young men involved into this SLPP uh, party and waiting SLP people do for them. Mm -hmm. And one of the hopes that when we see say we do for the young man and with being the SLPP party. Mm -hmm. I mean where SLP will provide for young people within that salon is mm -hmm. that uh, opportunity for education, mm -hmm. job job creation, create job for the young people there. And um we emphasize the no we don't allow young people then for be um a toy for the politicians then mm -hmm. who want campaign for them and they use them for go spread violence and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. that one of the key points in that way we really really emphasize on say let we make sure that we young man and all the hard work for politicians mm -hmm. there. For, for the pay them mm -hmm. as as the only means where they will get income by doing things that we not approve we don't put for the country itself as a whole. Mm -hmm. So the hope we need to for the young people in that salon is that we SFP then in power. Mm -hmm. We definitely get to make SFP get to make the young man then a point of focus. We they will give an education opportunity and job opportunity. They want to don't go through, we don't complete the course then. Opportunity good for them. You know, and that will drop a fish for. And right. that 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 the basis of the young generation will be like, and that will drop a push the empowerment of young people then. Right. Of course, uh, I know say uh, Mr. Yaya Tijan, you served there on the line and you being the strategic advisor to the young generation. I know we don't want for me to tell we all the strategies then we you they give the young generation for me they win election good and so may they not steal the ideas from Una, you know, for win the election. <laughs> but waiting at some of the things that we go tell we that we the young generation do, we go able for entice, motivate and inspire young people and for able for come on board and be with SLPP. Thank you, Mr. Sherry. Mm -hmm. uh, well, as you know, mm -hmm. young people, we have a lot of young people outside of Sierra Leone, outside mm -hmm. of United States. My job, my mm -hmm. advice, mm -hmm. we have a recruit more bright, young, and energy, young people that will be part of SLPP group. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the negative out there is the young people that they cause trouble and the young people then they fight and d destroy one show a proof mm -hmm. for say we the young one one we built mm -hmm. one make better Sierra Leone not just as a PP so my own advice to my own leader Mr. Barr and the other leader them mm -hmm. I've try for spread as a PP even if we're able the 50 states in America mm -hmm. and make North America stronger mm -hmm. so we will be up as a people in Sierra Leone, Freetown, mm -hmm. not the provinces and everything, financially, physically, like in March, I know the new body for the election pulling them. So if we will be, part, we'll be strong by number, we will be able to go back there, stand there, make sure the election go proper and everything serve well. So that's one of the few things where 
may the tribe for pass on to all the young generation leader will we get now mm-hmm. and try for recruit more and for growth and then we will build better LP people and better Sierra Leone. Right. Yeah, that's good talk, good talk. So, um, Mr. Bennett, uh, talking, it to, uh, talking to you as the young generation uh, secretary general, you know, I know say so you don't get some idea about uh, waiting at the control where we're going to get over young people inside the party and waiting at some of the strategies where the young generation gets for able for bring more people in. Because I know say so after we the APC that we get for single-handedly choose the presidential candidate and running mate we see plenty apc young man and they cross over to slpp now how are not able for you know uh, for keep that kind of influx when they come inside the party waiting at some of the strategies then we will not get for able for really get control over young people that way they come yeah um you know strategies are for you know, the young people there uh, or young adults there uh, in general. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the party itself, you know, to me, one question what he asks, um, you know, we brother and sisters, uh, especially the young one them, mm-hmm. you know, why SLPP? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, if you look at the history mm-hmm. of, you know, the political parties there at Salon, SLPP is a unique party. You know, we don't get a history. We, you know, it will talk for itself. Mm-hmm. And um, the only party where I can, you know, talk about it boldly, really care for the people then. And why make us say so? When you look at uh, we policies them, everything with their power, we get policies that we take care of, with the people and also the future generation, and make we insist on education mm-hmm. and health. Mm-hmm. You know, so to me, you know, where are you going to talk, you're going to show them right now, which I was there um, in March, and you know, I talked to a lot of young people there. You know, like, in particular, anybody will come in power, will not take, you know, unless you get some status, going to say, this is going to but when you really watch history, it's not true. Whether we can, anybody get a fair chance for survive, for gay living, for go college, get scholarship, and get a job. So, to me, as I say, we don't really need for do much. We only for sell with party. Mm-hmm. One thing we need, we need for be united. You know, we need for get more people who will be more vocal. And at the party itself, for give chance for young people and excel mm-hmm. and be in a position, we then go able for, you know, talk as young man and young, you know, uh, young woman then. And also, that's another thing we try for do. We make sure we go back to the woman then. Because we are the women's when we are the party, but... As a culture, until we young sisters and they can be left out. So the young generation we right now, with the young generation leader that's already in Mogoa, are working very hard to get also young women involved and they meet on a daily basis. And I can tell you, I say, we you going to talk really, you know, man and young woman don't really tell the system as well. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, just want to tell you, this election, we can really kind of win your election for, for you win because if you seek APC kind of power back, I will get for so far. We don't see the policies that they make within the really, um, you know, for young people, it's not good for we. Mm-hmm. You know, look at how many um, people who don't come out of college, we don't know if get a job just because of maybe the last thing outside you come out or that thing like that. We don't want that. They say people will never do things like that. Right. You know, with policies that we get, like policies that we get for the country as a whole and for develop we as young people. And, and I'm glad if we flag that, we don't get. I watch all you know, so I possibly believe in those things and believe in the young people. Right. So uh, we just need for continue for sell the party and what SLPP is. You know, one country, one people. We need to try to bring everybody together. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and so that brings me to Senesi. Of course, Senesi, you are the acting financial secretary of the SLPP. And you know, politics is money. And I know the young people, and I want to get the vibrancy, the energy, you know, uh, for do things then. Uh, when I get any plans so far, you know, I don't want for me to tell you the details of the plans, how for raise money for the party. Let our opponents they know able to steal the idea. But uh, when I get any plans in the making as to you get confident for say SLPP go able to forget the kind of money we need for able for you know able for use and part the national campaign so we able when I go able for win the uh, the state house. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, 
when it comes to violence, the, um, that's not something that we will, especially when we deal with mm -hmm. election as big as the one with the come up for salon, especially at the national level. So since we got an executive board now in Northern California, I mean Northern America chapter mm -hmm. region, mm -hmm. that decision that we, we didn't make at that level. But as far as the young generation, mm -hmm. which we were able to do for influence the young generation, and that we were able to partake by the election and bring out a positive uh, outcome to the party, is that we did try for the police say we don't want to give out any strategy ideas, but would it try for empower the young people then give mm -hmm. them means, um, if not transportation, would it try for a sponsor mm -hmm. for them? Or if we will um, get people then that the polling stations then on election day, mm -hmm. so make sure see everything will go accordingly. If not, one of the things that they would they target for try for a uh, sponsor, mm -hmm. now, now the idea is that we will get within the young generation um, we will go with meetings that will discuss how we are able to get the young people that are involved in this election and like you said, everything and money. So we will we'll also try to come up with ways that will fundraisers, if not dance, um, you know, just ways of coming up with money. If not if not phone calls, so we have to call people then mm -hmm. and say maybe donate to the young generation wing or we get for taxes. So these are all ideas that we we have come up with. These right. are all different ways. But from the election itself is the whole new monster that needs to be targeted by everybody who's the SFPP supporter. Right. That and not to one particular wing we able to do. Not everybody will even with SFPP. If now you two dollar, three dollar, you will give to the party for mm -hmm. every winner election. If that I get for take. Now do that that right. that that we do as SLPC people that we need everybody with their part of SLPC to do their own part. Maybe towards the election. Right. So in 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 essence, you they say the party get confidence for say go get the kind money we need for able for win state house. Right. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Okay, so uh, Mr. Tijan, um, you know, strategic advisor, you know, I, we don't want most of the strategies, but if I can ask you, you know, for able for, uh, tell me this, where the SLPP, let me assume say SLPP don't win election now, SLPP don't form the next government of the country, waiting on the number one strategy where if you say this party for adopt for able for encourage young people and for stay within the party may they not go no side may they stay within the party because then say the day where they win the election now the day you for begin the campaign for the next election so what would be that strategy well i think for the young people there we will just ask the leader for involve a lot of young people there mm -hmm. give them job part of the government Plug them into different areas. We don't go involved. Mm -hmm. Most learning and develop and mature. Uh, we have a lot of young generation, educated people, well smart, can be able to build and help Sierra Leone. And me feel say that's one of our key. If we win and we will win, we we'll have to we lead up for involved we in all aspects of the parliament and everything, any role. That we can do not just allow the older one and the young one we need to take action today mm -hmm. and prepare to build a better Sierra Leone for the future right all right guys so uh definitely i want for tell una plenty plenty thank you for uh you know una you know conversation me and mr bag for continuing now for holy conversation but definitely i know see when they work very hard I know see when they put a lot of efforts into uh you know making sure that SLPP becomes the next government as Sierra Leone. So for that, as Sierra Leoneans, we want for say plenty thank you to Una for that. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Mr. Sheriff. We appreciate you. Right. All right, and so uh, now me and Mr. Ba get for talk now exclusively about uh, most of these things. You know, let me begin mm -hmm. from the term way APC then, you know, appoint a presidential candidate and running mate, right? It's Dr. Samura Kamara and Cherry Koko. 
immediately after that, we see a large number of youths, especially in Apu Loko, they don't vex, then they are against APC, they say they're all the kind of SLPP. So, if I can ask you for comment on that, as young generation, these are young people, when they come, they want to see them kind. You will not able to communicate with the young generation when they see you, and what thing they be do for receive them young people in there? Well, <laughs> you know, you make a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right? You see, just like you say, uh -huh. when you look at that um, convention mm -hmm. with APC Hall, mm -hmm. it clearly mm -hmm. tells you the difference between the SLPP mm -hmm. and the APC. Right. In the SLPP, this not to me to make this up, mm -hmm. the whole of Salon C, mm -hmm. how we conduct we convention. Mm -hmm. Before we even select we flag bearer, Mm -hmm. The SLPP whole elections mm -hmm. across the whole of Sierra Leone. Right. When we finish with that, mm -hmm. in fact, even when we conduct with force election, mm -hmm. people they even protested some of the the areas that are not. The north. Mm -hmm. They say, "Oh no, we need for redo." And guess what? Mm -hmm. We we'll redo and back. Mm -hmm. We go back my convention. Mm -hmm. We get about eleven candidates. We did the right thing, which is a clean, free, and fair mm -hmm. democratic process mm -hmm. to elect with flag bearer. Mm -hmm. Waiting at the trial for express. Mm -hmm. At the trial for express, say for the any country go before, mm -hmm. for the any young man get future, mm -hmm. right? You get to be part of a political party. We believe in democracy. Mm -hmm. Now, in the APC, the All People's Congress. It's just unbelievable. The first thing we will president do mm -hmm. before they do hold them convention. Right. Smartly, mm -hmm. but to some of us, I don't say it was smart, it makes sure say they elect them as chairman for life. Mm -hmm. Then they come together mm -hmm. after we don't raise everybody in hope. Mm -hmm. The Inca is select. Mm -hmm. What thing are they try for the way people don't understand is this? Mm -hmm. So you try to get that power they force. Yes. When you do that mm -hmm. in politics, mm -hmm. when you begin select, mm -hmm. then I will tell you say they will select for we people them back. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. this the kind of life young man do want for live in a salon? Mm -hmm. Is this the future of salon? Mm -hmm. But so Mr. Bayer, the, the question was what you wanna do as SLPP young generation mm -hmm. for receive the young people that will be oh, vexed with and come. Okay. Okay. When I, I put them under them, <laughs> because it's a you know, traditional yes. party, or you get stranger, you get for put them under Well, okay. I've not been just one answer that part, it's just too quick. You want to introduce them first. I want the people to understand mm -hmm. why them people are beginning to come. I'm going to say, Mr. Banner being a movie mm -hmm. actor. So, so what I have to try for say is mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. me and the national young generation leader, Mr. Mogua, mm -hmm. and of course the Secretary General, Emerson Kamara, we are very, very tight. Okay. Right now, all doors are open mm -hmm. to receive the APC young man. Mm -hmm. But you see, this election with the come, Mr. Mm -hmm. Sheriff, with mm -hmm. all due respect, mm -hmm. let's face it. Mm -hmm. When you look at Salon, mm -hmm. the population of Salon, 70% is made up by young people. Right. But if APC don't begin to select people the way for be the head, mm -hmm. you tell me how somebody we brilliant, we can do the job. You tell me how it will rise up to the rank if you don't know somebody, not right. by merit. Right. So this is not a bad president right there they said. Okay. Right now, me as I sit in this studio, and of course, like I tell you, so we national young generation leader, they accept people there. Mm -hmm. Me, they ask the young man, the modern APC, mm -hmm. with all due respect for ask themselves this question. Do you think you are in a democratic party? And if the answer is yes, why will you let an individual to select for you? You see, with the SLPP, mm -hmm. and this now one the people don't know. We believe in decentralization of government, where the people they make decisions. Because when you look at SLPP, all the good things will don't happen as a way to the people they feel say with the part of the problems in a salon, mm -hmm. now we create the better life of salon. We the SLPP, mm -hmm. and this now only people don't understand the difference. Mm -hmm. Just give me a little time, Mr. Mm -hmm. 
when countries them in the fight now Africa mm -hmm. for get independent, we chief them, depart them, mm -hmm. then come together, then bring all the brains that we can think of Nasalo. Mm -hmm. They make sure so we put a very thorough statement to British colonial masters them. It took us ten years because them found the SLPP in 1951. Mm -hmm. It took with ten years we able for secure independent without one single life loss. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, when they give we independent, we build secondary schools across the whole countries, the whole country. We build uh, how you call them, hospitals, every major district there are major hospitals. We connect all the roads in the country. In fact, under Sam Bangura, when I've been the governor, we keep the Leons at 75 cents to one dollar. Today, under the APC, we're talking about 700 and something thousand. Okay? When Tijan Kaba came, after we did war, uh, we were in a war, mm -hmm. Tijan Kaba came, with all the trouble we don't go through, mm -hmm. the SLP, we end the war. It will not just end the war, we retrain the whole police force, mm -hmm. the military. We rebrand the whole country. We ask for international community for giving debt free, all kind of things. We take the country back. We handle under Timu Bangura, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As, As minister, minister of finance, finance right? right? Mm -hmm. He hold the loans at um, three thousand five hundred loans, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I believe say the three hundred thousand four hundred dollars. Yes, uh, I believe say the APC. Uh, <laughs> well, it was almost right? Yeah. Guess what? But if you cannot hold the economy of the country, it's in the sky, right? What you make you feel safe? So, in other words, oh, in, yeah, other, in, other, other, in other words, you did uh -huh. tell the youths there, we be calm, we come out from the APC, come inside SLPP, mm -hmm. at a time where the president we have single handedly appoint some Dr. Samuel Kamara as yes. the presidential candidate, we then vex, we then come over. For say, they don't come at the right place because now you so hope they are. Of Is course. that what you are trying to they say? Exactly the try for see. In another words, mm -hmm. me they reach out mm -hmm. to we APC mm -hmm. and other political party brothers then for say mm -hmm. if you believe in change, mm -hmm. if you want to make a difference, mm -hmm. Nasalo mm -hmm. can join with party, the Sierra Leone People's Party when I SLPP. And I will tell you why some people they make confused on mm -hmm. with this back and forth of APC and SLPP. Mm -hmm. When Samuel Timagai take over mm -hmm. as the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. sorry, yeah, as Prime Minister in 1961, mm -hmm. when he addressed Sierra Leoneans then to the nation, mm -hmm. he talked to all the picking the way the school mm -hmm. and the young man at that time did. Mm -hmm. He said, them don't do their best for secure independence. Then they hand over traditions and values. Mm -hmm. We could change the life of Sierra Leoneans then for many generations to come. Right. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. some of the picking the way we did that time, the way today, and then the lead we mm -hmm. don't disappoint we. You understand? So now it makes some of the young people that don't frustrate so much they feel say SLPP is also part mm -hmm. of that problem. Day. When I brother you talk about so but anyway. when, when are they now <laughs> the big man they now they run the country. You right, right. But these things mm -hmm. people don't know. Mm -hmm. And Ibrahim, mm -hmm. let me say this, Mr. Sherry. Right. In the past mm -hmm. there was a lot of opportunities in Asalo. Mm -hmm. But we have less accessibilities to things. Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. there is a lot of accessibilities, mm -hmm. but less opportunities. Okay. And the future of Salon mm -hmm. is, is so blink mm -hmm. that if we not put the right people in our office, mm -hmm. when so, so in your opinion, mm -hmm. Julius Madabio is currently the presidential candidate of the SLPP. So in your yeah. opinion, he's the best person for able to move this country forward. And I will tell you why, yes. Mm -hmm. This, with all fairness, right. with, with people that would watch this broadcast, mm -hmm. broadcast. Right. You see, any job, any office mm -hmm. where you don't sit on an office, mm -hmm. you work in that office day. You know exactly what's in that office day. Mm -hmm. You are completely different from anybody who never enter that office day. Mm -hmm. Waiting at a try for the people to understand that is this. Mm -hmm. Among all the candidates that we this alone today, we say they want to be president. Mm -hmm. The only person among them mm -hmm. 
we don't be president. Na retired Brigadier Julius Madabio. Right. You cannot compare that experience to anybody who never sit on that office day. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, forget about that experience day. Mm -hmm. How many people in a salon mm -hmm. before the war, or even right now with the watch, mm -hmm. they wake up in the morning and say, mm -hmm. they want to sacrifice their life for defend the country, Sierra Leone. Right. A very few. That man, they joined the, the Sierra Leone military at a very early age. Mm -hmm. Not the intention to be president, mm -hmm. and put in life in a line. And you get people who no able to understand things like that. In the United States, what we did, mm -hmm. everywhere you go, mm -hmm. even when you resign, when you uh, come under the military, or you get family member in the military, any way you wouldn't give you privilege. Right. Can you imagine? And people in a salon will appreciate things. So, like see, so in other words, you are saying the Sierra Leonean people are just being grateful to Julius Madabio for the sacrifices we make for the country. Yes, but beside that, he mm -hmm. deserves mm -hmm. to be the mm -hmm. president of okay. our country. Right. This, are, again, I repeat, mm -hmm. he get the experience. Mm -hmm. Among all the other people who are the one person who don't serve in the office of the president, right? Okay, I mean, just imagine for a mm -hmm. second mm -hmm. an office where you don't sit on, yes. You, you and know, the time where he sit on that office, he was much a younger man, right? Right, in his late 20s. And forget about that, sir. Mm -hmm. he was also the head of the entire military, right? That's an organization where, where, where they keep the country mm -hmm. safe. Right. Well, you know, say so, you know, say, Madam, you come from a chieftaincy family. So, thank you. Right. Thank so you. let me let me take on to the next level. Now, you know, plenty of people and they where they care go this talk around for say, mm -hmm. SL people not able for keep in mantra when I one country, one people because people and they will be there inside the party. Certain things they happen where they say it been very dictatorial. Wherein they be the first madabi on the party, you know. So therefore, they decide for go left the party. Case in point, Doctor Kane Koleyom Kela left. Then it's Bright. Then left Joe Albert. Then then left Andrew Kelly. Then left. Then go form their own national grand coalition. Now you feel say you know that thing they be a good thing to SLPP or without them SLPP go able for move forward. Um. That's a tough one. <laughs> the reason we make a scene is a tough one. Yeah, it must be tough, right? What you make a say so? Mm -hmm. You see, when you get a family, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and there is a fighting going on, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it, it, not a good thing. Mm -hmm. But one thing we we establish na SLPP, mm -hmm. na a free and fair democratic party, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When people they fight for leadership, the mm -hmm. big one there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know they expect you to go count in one word. It's impossible. If they go count in one word, then then they choose one person. Right. They elect the person. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. some people not able patient. Some people right. not able handle the situation. They left. Mm -hmm. Now some of the, we own brothers that we miss mm -hmm. joined some of the other party there, right? Mm -hmm. But now one thing I know, the SLP has been around for a very long time, mm -hmm. and we are going to be around for a very long time. Right. I just hope so, brothers and sisters, that we leave the party. Mm -hmm. The door is always open, never close, and it will never close. Mm -hmm. And they are welcome to come anytime. Right. But this election, mm -hmm. we the focus on the APC because mm -hmm. they sit down at the office. Right. And then they govern the country. So why worry about the people? Them, we, I mean. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe right. it. We will get APC we sit under the office. Right. So uh, basically, there is this other rhetoric where Mister Sevna is Realuna, in as much as me a journalist, but now they are there. We say the media supposed for coming for set the record straight. You know, for Tina be anybody. You know, where people that you talk see between the SLPP and the APC. They are too supposed for common power. They're not supposed for they for touch power against them because now they don't make the country not to go before from 1961 to 2017. You're not SLPP member and you look young. You get hopes and aspirations in the SLPP. Even when people that you talk in Tokyo, you feel say a a right for let people that compare these two political parties, APC and SLPP. Therefore, compare them. You know, sometimes we thank you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we. 
people want to try to compare SLP and APC, mm -hmm. I can just put me on my head and cry. <laughs> because if you cannot see mm -hmm. the present mm -hmm. uh, situation mm -hmm. where APC don't just do right now mm -hmm. by electing somebody, mm -hmm. you want to compare to AP, SLP. By selecting you. By selecting, I'm sorry, by mm -hmm. selecting somebody, mm -hmm. it, it just make me blink. Now, let me tell you some of the difference then. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Under the SLPP, mm -hmm. well, that not begins to go under because I don't mm -hmm. talk about that. The difference way I want the people to understand, we, the SLPP, are a strong conservative party. Mm -hmm. We believe, say, the people the way they kailan, mm -hmm. the one the way they kenema, the one the way they kono, now them for make a decision. Say, you know what? We want light. Okay, mm -hmm. then come up with what they need, mm -hmm. tell the central government, sponsor them, and do that project. Mm -hmm. But under the APC, mm -hmm. which I can still take over, mm -hmm. right? What did they do? They centralize everything to the government. I give a typical example of Komokono. Mm -hmm. Sometimes business people they can free town without even going to Kono, mm -hmm. deal with the parties with the with the government there. And go upline with a surprise. What are they trying to express now? We the SLPP believe in decentralization of government where the people can get right to mm -hmm. say anything. Mm -hmm. We don't demonstrate, we are not perfect. We depend demonstrate right mm -hmm. now, and we don't demonstrate. Under the SLPP, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There was 24 hours light in mm -hmm. Under the SLPP, we get government hospital now, every single corner waving the work. Mm -hmm. Under the SL people, we get scholarships them way where they produce students them where they go land different, different, different uh, fields them where they come back now the country because job been there. Mm -hmm. Under the SL people, na Saluna been the third country in the world. Sorry, na Africa. Mm -hmm. We get television station. Under the SL people, right? We get drinking water na every single district. Infrastructures been the go. But when APC cannot power, guess what they do? Mm -hmm. They go now with parliament, try force the people there, and then pass one party state. Then they centralize all things to one man. And now the same thing again, the president don't can do back after we SLP people don't bring this country back to a track. Well, you know, some people, and some, some people that can blame the SLPP mm -hmm. because the SLPP works so hard for okay. attain the, demo, the the independence, mm -hmm. for improve the country's economy, for build up the infrastructure of the company, I mean the, the country, for boost up education, for boost up agriculture with the export food, the railway, the, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. Why then left Sudan, the APC kinds are, and scatter all that in there, and now all man they suffer back? Um, going back to history. Right. You see, if everything was supposed to be mm -hmm. how it was supposed to play, because they formed APC, I think July something 1960, 60, right? And that was just for SLPP mm -hmm. to get an opposition. Mm -hmm. But greed of power mm -hmm. has been always been part of APC. Okay. If APC mm -hmm. under the Shaka Stephen government. Mm -hmm not being forced with people uh, into one party state. Mm -hmm. I promise you today Salon for being the crew. Mm -hmm. Because for being the change hands. Just mm -hmm. like I would try for do now. But what it do it kill that spirit mm -hmm. by controlling everything for too long. Mm -hmm. Today most of the picking the way the APC mm -hmm. now burn the bond inside APC. So they don't even know about SLPP. Now 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 wait to Yanka back on, Plenty begin learn about SLPP. Well, even to, so, even during Tijankaba in time, mm -hmm. where Tijankaba come, it do all this good work. It finish the war, it disarm the combatants, then you know, this, uh, reintegrate them back into the community, retrain the army, retrain the police, reestablish government institutions. All of these things, it make them wipe off all with debt. So Sierra Leone was debt free when APC take over. But Usa SLPP left Sudan back. When APC then take over, then when they don't take, I mean, I know say SLP believe in democracy, but anytime when they take over, then they can't go being back. So well, they say SLPP as the oldest political party in Sierra Leone, not don't do, really take a responsible action for make sure say on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone that no government no can inside for able for squander all the good things that what they do. Well, you see, this mm -hmm. is some of the problems they walk in face. Mm -hmm. You see, when a government do not power. Mm -hmm. 
you as opposition mm -hmm. as much as you want to make influence mm -hmm. you are still limited let nobody fool you you are still limited mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i'll give you a typical example mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. then get what it then called the EITI standard. Mm -hmm. When are the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative? Mm -hmm. We then set them for countries like Sierra Leone, we get mineral and other things. Then mm -hmm. say, bad company in Canada alone, mm -hmm. then can invest hundred dollars. The company for make them public. Mm -hmm. Then the salon government also for make that money the public in a hundred dollar will receive from bad company. No, mm -hmm. but as who they sell, as who they use this money right for the past 10 years mm -hmm. under the apc we know able meet the eiti standard the auditor general's report also speak for itself mm -hmm. the point where i try to make is when apc can have power after tijankaba mm -hmm. you see people then become very rich mm -hmm. because politics don't become like a place where people they go for go become rich rather mm -hmm. than for work mm -hmm. so as much as we want to do much mm -hmm they have influenced their power into the people then they make some of we they feel sorry for we young man then because that war make a lot of people then become very i don't know we say illiterate but plenty of people know go school mm -hmm. so what thing they happen a more of image communication mm -hmm. and saloon candidate the way you get money mm -hmm. you do go far right Pe the people they know you sit down and actually think say me one i will make that difference by going out there and doing the right thing by voting for the right choice. And that mindset the nine need for happen. I give you a typical example today. Mm -hmm. And this is not to the young people then, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I really want the young people then be part of salon politics. Mm -hmm. How many young people then do in a salon mm -hmm. below the age of 30 mm -hmm. win a member of parliament or hold a minister position? I don't know of any. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking below 30, right? I mean, some then they right long. now, some, well, very, few, very, very few, very few, right? right? So, then you go bump up to 30 to 40, mm -hmm. and you go up. The point where you try to make, when you look place like America, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The biggest country in the world, mm -hmm. where they get the best equipment of anything you can think of, mm -hmm. and they trust the leadership with young people there. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with old people, okay? Right, then they but guide the them, then they guide them, right. Mm -hmm. The young man in a salon don't mm -hmm. take so much back seat mm -hmm. because they are so mad mm -hmm. with the way we big one then they, the, the they do things then. So when they say don't take back seat, and mm -hmm. when you take back seat, mm -hmm. guess what? Then they draw, now then they make decision for you. Right. And one thing where the APC, they do, then they push the young man in a street for make noise. Mm -hmm. then at the end of the day, then they choose one among them, mm -hmm. then put them in some kind of position, then say, oh, well, we don't help the young man. Mm -hmm. And that also need for stop. All I try to say is the young people in the salon need to take control of the country. But how they go down, you know, like um, most of them, they we really want, you know, we, me, I mean, they look at the young people that really come up from the APC where they come, right? Mm -hmm. They be vexed. They really no say you know we not get any other hope. They are not going to the other new party. Then now it's everybody then come. Yes. So it's like if your mama and your daddy then get plabber, they or, or two they live in a different houses. You mama don't do you bad. Who say they go? You come back to your daddy house. No, I go to the mommy house. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So you say so when the people they don't come back, mm -hmm. we need forget a strategy for say you know what thing. You you not party garçon. You be don't go, but you don't come back. We don't welcome you back. This is not the hope we will get for you. When you stay now, these are the things that are going to happen to you. But anyway, we we'll see waiting Madam Bill outline inside his strategy, right? But I'm just saying the SLPP for be strategic enough not for miss that opportunity of the people coming. Let them not just get this complex sense you say, you know, of SLPP is SLPP, they always come back, that complex sense, you know. So waiting is really the message you as a young generation leader of the SLP in North America. What thing could be your message to that young man with Sidon when you don't make a decision yet, a one for car SLP but you don't get hope. What is your message to that person? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. in the SLP, mm -hmm. if you join the SLP, mm -hmm. I guaranteed all young people out there mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. the future mm -hmm of a country mm -hmm. it in a Johan. Right. 
And the reason we make a talk say the future of a country in a Yuhan is this. You have seen how the president or the APC government mm -hmm. is choosing people to be our head, mm -hmm. which is the party of the APC. Mm -hmm. In the SLPP, we believe in democratic process. You come in and tell we say you are the best. And if you are the best, you will be one of our leaders. Now, looking at the future of we country mm -hmm. as young people, take a look at APC, good, and take a look at SLPP and ask yourself that question. Who side you see yourself where you get your future? Now, APC? I don't think so. Right. But most people they mix politics mm -hmm. with um, family ties mm -hmm. that also back the affect young people mm -hmm. you know so i feel say i feel say a lot of people need for things because we are a democratic party so yeah so mr ba you know apc as a political party from 1961 to 2017 when me and you two they talk today the APC is not on record for able for organize a free, fair, transparent, democratic elections, a winner emerge out of that election, then take government and hand them over to that person. Day. Another one day happen. It's not on record. And so, which confidence will the SLPP get for say in the 2018 election that APC go able for make sure say there is a free, fair, and credible elections in the country, and that they're not going to interfere with the process, and that they're going to hand over government to the person who will win without any problem. Well, mm -hmm. this is what we need to do, mm -hmm. and this is very, very important. Mm -hmm. During the last elections, mm -hmm. when people vote across the country, mm -hmm. it takes us weeks at least minimum of one week mm -hmm. to get the result. Mm -hmm. The point where I try to make, maybe that statistic swag, it can be mm -hmm. up and down one week or two weeks, mm -hmm. but it was not on the same day. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, as we the talk from mm -hmm. the statistics we then put out and mm -hmm. the numbers that we then put out, mm -hmm. we get about 11,200 polling stations. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we get about 400 words or things like that. There's a statistics will come out. So right. in another words, we know exactly, mm -hmm. we get about, I think, roughly about 3 million people get for vote. Mm -hmm. We have the statistics. We know exactly how people get for vote, to say in the vote and everything. Mm -hmm. For little, we get a free and fair election. This government for promise we. Mm -hmm. When the vote, mm -hmm. that place where the vote, mm -hmm. across the whole country, Mm -hmm. Then for count the vote that night. That night, right that from night. there. Yes, they're not for carry the box. Results, from one, no, they should not take no box. No mm -hmm. box. Yeah, I remember. I mean, I've been right putting there, agents back in '96. Then for count now, the so votes, do, right. everybody tally them mm -hmm. and we put them in. Because when you begin to say, oh, we go count, oh, we not get the counted, mm -hmm. no, then there is something going to go wrong. Right. As much as international government community. Mm -hmm can come in and monitor the election. Mm -hmm. I don't feel say a fair for the people then vote and then wait a couple of days, forget the result. That and the, and then the other problem back when I say the SLPP mm -hmm. been get in twenty twelve was that mm -hmm. when I not been get polling agents then at all the polling stations, even at, especially in the northern province, they're not been there. So you feel say when I don't organize that because the young people that, more, not, that was not true. That mm -hmm. was a foul play. Mm -hmm. This now from my opinion mm -hmm. and from what we know, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. The pulling agent, we are supposed to go through some form of training. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been expect say, most of the people, the way mandatory need for the under training was the neck. Mm -hmm. People that we get for the inner the stations then. Mm -hmm. But waiting then turn out to tell some of we people then was, mm -hmm. oh, some form of training where they've been supposed to forget. Mm -hmm some of we people them mm -hmm. I talk about our political parties and the SLPP not been getting trainings and they're so waiting them do them 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 block them. Mm -hmm. You know? So we're not able then at some of them stations here mm -hmm. for monitor waiting they happen. So if you say the party don't take care of that problem this this time? We are doing our best but that's not the problem. The problem is mm -hmm. when them vote mm -hmm. they should count the vote. Right, right inside them okay. because every polling station there's mm -hmm. somebody there. 
Mm -hmm. So if people remain at this police station and don't vote, mm -hmm. why we need for take the vote again? Well, that, that's a very sensitive thing. So we'll we'll talk to the electoral electoral yes, commission. Yes, they need for counting, mm -hmm. and they're right there. And everybody will, get involved. Because that's what James Jonah did in '96. Because, because the thing can happen at mm -hmm. the then they went and they take an anchor over vote. Say that you stronghold. They can right. over vote the thing and they cancel out. Yeah. Right? But there so were even need, evidence for saying, yes. yeah. We yeah. don't want to go into too much of that. But mm -hmm. this time, the need for count mm -hmm. everything right there at the polling station. But in the AYV interview with Ngi Julius Madabi, the presidential candidate, he talks to say, he no one for me to do the handing over at night. If possible, win, they don't want for me to announce the result in net. They don't want to hand it over in net because they all the you kill kick in play. It's a, this process for be transparent. If it happen daytime, you know, for being rushed. You see, <laughs> you know, I, I, I really give um, Julius Madabio mm -hmm. a very, very, I don't even know how to describe him. Mm -hmm. A very, very, um, he's a very courageous man mm -hmm. because. If not to be a courageous man, you see that election we pass, mm -hmm. we not lost the election itself. Mm -hmm. Then that they guarantee anybody. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The big one then talk to and they left him. Mm -hmm. Because if it being continuously they protest that election day, mm -hmm. then we still type them, mm -hmm. then we make everything look negative, mm -hmm. and we no want that. So it just let it go. But this time around, mm -hmm. they must count up the polling stations. Right. And so, Mr. Ba, we don't come to the end of this interview, but if people that deeper watch you, especially young people, what thing would be a closing statement to them as far as this interview is concerned? Thank you very much for this interview. Um, tonight, most of Una don't know me, but uh, of course, this is my own first time with some of Una, they meet me. Of course, I've been introduced also as the young generation leader for SLPP in America. I want to take this time for telling a thank you for watching. But this coming election is not about me. It's not about the big one there. This election about you, the young man within a saloon. Today, the big one in the promise you say, if we elect we, especially the APC, they tell you, say, if you elect we, we will make things right for young man them. We will bring job for young man them. We will do this, we will do that. But to be honest, all that is not true. The only way we salon the change, now if you as a young man, forget about the dance in the street, forget about where the brother and can give money for support them, if you, the young man, sit down personally and think about your own life, who say you do right now, and who say you get for the, in the next five years, then you go begin to understand, say, the only way we salon the change. Now, when you begin to get that mindset, say, you know what, for the displaced change, I need for involved in our politics. And for involved in our politics, it's not just to just be part of a political party. But one way will make a difference. And the reason we make Adi say this, I didn't the United States now. I see the life of young people then, how bright it is. Who say education are free. Plenty of the people that we may grow up with in a salon, when a young man they will be smart. But he told them reach from five. That because from me left there. But he told them reach from five. Then dream was wiped away. The question is. Is your dream wiped away? Then don't wipe your dream. Now, we government and we big people in the talk about say they will provide job. And most time, when they talk about job, they talk about for good bring company from overseas for bringing us alone. Not to that we need us alone. We need for the government able for encourage young people then for they then better themselves so that way the country will receive that betterness day. What I mean by that? If the government say today, any young person will be able to show a very good plan mm -hmm. into business, would they give you a loan? Mm -hmm. I promise you, some of your real own brothers then will become rich in that country, they will go employ people there. But today, now politicians then get money, not to the ordinary people, and that's not fair. 
We get agriculture field. The government they spend over 160 or something plus million dollars per food. Mm -hmm. Imagine if they cut that money they have, then put across the country for the young man they produce anything in agriculture. You tell me if you no go help the young man their life. Today, internet don't take the world, but still start on slow. Can we do e-commerce? Can a young man do e-commerce? They introduced me earlier, I say, I did in a movie business. We, because of this politics, I take a break until after the election, hopefully I will do something. But the point where they try to make, the government no care about young man then. Then only they talk to young people then when the new election time come. Now, is that the life you want to live? I don't feel so. Don't forget about all this APC, SLPP, this, that. I'm talking to you as a young man. The other thing we I want the young people to know also, okay? Yes, all my one can overseas. There is nothing wrong with coming to overseas. But now because we country this we all they suffer. So we think at the trifle we understand is this election we the come on, mm -hmm. this March seven election. Julius Madabio, not a man we they talk too much when an actual man. It don't prove unto the salon people them. He don't serve that country in a honorable position to serve in the armed force of Salon, and he not stop there. He helped for bring democracy in that country at the time. We would not do under APC for so long. Nobody nobody ever know when democracy for being Canada country. Day. He hand over peacefully to a free and fair democratic country to the whole world enjoy. Then people still to go out there and say he has no serve our country. I don't feel so. Waiting a while we do not this election. No forget about plenty talk. Mm -hmm. Lo we elect the right candidate this time for Salon. And that person is no other person but retired Major G Julius Madabio. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Bad, thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate you. Of course, uh, you don't talk on key points then. Of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sherrix Broadcast Network, and so we can do things then. I have one for say plenty, plenty thank you to Mr. Mohamed Ba, uh, Young Generation Leader, SLPP North America. Of course, uh, you don't talk now, so fine, fine one. Of course, we also want to say a lot of thanks to uh, Mr. Hindalo Barnett, owner the Secretary General for the SLPP North American Young Generation, Mr. Senesi Sama, owner the Acting Financial Secretary for the SLPP North American Young Generation, Edina uh, Northern California, of course, Mr. Barnett, Edina New Jersey, and to Mr. Yaya Tijan, we are the Young Generation Leader in Southern California and also now the strategic advisor to mr Mohammed ba and the young generation one for tell una all plenty thank you for una time and for everything thank you very much guys thank you very much right